Hi, I'm Leah Savoli, and you're watching Mingle Media TV's Red Carpet Report. Tonight, we are at the 2011 Braveheart Women Awards, where we are about to meet so many amazing and inspiring women. Let's get inspired. I'm fine. I'm fabulous. So you are winning the Compassion Award tonight. I'm very honored, yes. Tell us a little bit about what you do at Cat Kramer Productions, Cat Kramer TV. I've been hearing all about oh, you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm primarily an actress, singer, producer, um, and I like to think outside the box. And I founded and established Cat Kramer's Films That Changed the World. I know it's a lofty title, but my father was filmmaker Stanley Kramer. He made a lot of classic, socially conscious films, many of them award-winning. Many of them changed the law. They certainly made us think. My godmother was Katherine Hepburn, so she was always ahead of the curve, and she was a trendsetter and, you know, a great inspiration. So you, you kind of had a lot of um, pressure coming into this? It is, but I, I, I got the you idea. follow in such wonderful footsteps, you know? Yeah, in my own small way, yeah. because I am a filmmaker, but on, on the series, I don't make any of the films at this point, because there's too many good ones out there already made. That need right to now, you're seen. scouting as the producer, and you're bringing them I, in. I do. I, I founded it. I host it. I produce it. I curate it. I make all the decisions about the speakers. I mean, I give the, the okay. films a voice, and also the issues. And, you know, we have so much star power that supports it that it's the star power that draws the media there and the activists, and that's why it gets so much recognition. And this is only my fourth one that I just finished, and here I am tonight. So I am blown away that it's come this far in such a short time. And this just encourages, you know, me to continue to, to going, keep going. Forward and, and make it a global uh, entity. You know, right now it's based in Hollywood, but I do plan to go outreach to different cities and hopefully worldwide. That's my goal. Now, have you been involved with Braveheart Women prior to this event? No, but Tippi Hedren, who actually hosted with Lily Tomlin and Cher my last screening, which was actually a world premiere. I wouldn't really call them screenings. I mean, it's a screening series, but I have you know, red carpet world premieres. A lot of times it's the world premiere of the film. They've never been seen, certainly not in Hollywood, not with the media, um, and never with the people that are there. It's like always the first unveiling. The first two movies I had were well-known movies, but they were like the only premieres for the DVD release or something on the West Coast. And when I had The Cove, it won the Academy Award, so that really put the series at a certain standard. Followed it up with Elephants and Man, which Cher came to and spoke, and it really put everything on the map. And this last one again with Lily Tomlin, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I mean, I have so I'm so blessed to have so much celebrity support, and it is for the media. You know, I mean, I I, I the media is always invited inside to film all the speeches, to watch the film. I don't exclude them just to the red carpet. They are think tanks. They are invitation only. I don't charge admission. And they're unique, I think, because, you know, there's a lot of screening series, but I don't think you can get that kind of star power in, like, a small room like that where well, people can talk about, about that, it. that you are getting that star power is then you also get the media, because it's sort yes. of a catch-22 to get the That's media right. to pay attention to what we're doing, especially positive, productive things. You get that star power involved, and you got them there. So it sounds like you have a magical combination going on here. It has been magical. You know, each one has taken on a life of their own. And I just stand back and watch it. I mean, I work very hard, and I am hands-on. But they do kind of, it's like it's almost like my father is guiding them from above, I have to say that. He really watches over me. Because it was christened in his honor at the Stanley Kramer Theater at Sunset Gower Studios was where I kicked it off. And now it's outgrown his screening room, and I, I use sound stages and and um, special rooms, and but it will stay at Sunset Gower. That's the home. That's for the it. home. Well, tonight's theme is precious gems. Um, yes. So, in the past 24 hours, what in your life has happened that you would consider a precious gem? Oh, that's a good question. Well, you know, I just being here is a precious gem, and. Um, Precious gem. Well, I have to say, uh, Barbara Streisand's film Yentl kicked off my series. That was the first film I chose. And I just saw her receive a special award from the Hart Foundation where she talked about compassion and how you approach everything with an open heart makes you compassionate. And I'm receiving the Compassion Award tonight, so it was kind of like bringing around full yeah. circle. Awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations on everything, and we're going to continue to follow you and have a great time tonight. Thank you so much.